We are here, John and Nora, coming to you from Lincoln Center, where, as you know, it's showtime. A couple minutes from now, we're joined now by two-time Tony winner, that's B.B. Newarth, two-time Tony nominee, Brandon Victor Dixon. It's okay, audience, you may applaud. <laughs> I know, I walked in, I said, there's people here. I didn't know there was gonna be an audience. I like this, I thought it was just gonna be us chickens. So, Brandon, let's start with you, because you know what this is like. You know, the morning you wake up, it's a Tony nomination, what do you think most people are feeling? Because And do you always buy when people go, I was sleeping, I didn't know. Yes, and then, yes. That's what you left me. I don't believe that. Mom, Absolutely. You, it's true? Yeah, yeah it is. Well, I mean, they're I, doing shows. Everybody's different, I think. I, some people are probably <laughs> are waiting. I say, I'm usually asleep and my mother is in the living room <laughs> waiting. That's, what, that's usually what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, because I, I always picture if, if you're up for it that you're sort of sitting by the phone and watching the TV to see what's going to happen. That's, that's reality. That's not how it goes. No, I, mean, I, I never bought that. You're gonna know. <laughs> you're gonna, you know you're gonna know if it happens. Yeah. So I think, that, I think there's a level of not wanting to build up anticipation and just right. wanting like, we're just gonna treat it like it's a regular day. I'm gonna pretend I didn't know they came out today. But are you nervous? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Are you nervous though, BB, as you're waiting? Yeah, I'm, you're I'm hoping. of the sleeping yes. team. I, I stay asleep. And you, you, it's true, you're gonna know. Someone will tell you one way or the other you know, what, if your name got read, but I'm sort of in the, I'm of the team that goes, but you're we also a Tony winner, so you know what a difference a Tony nomination can make for a play. I heard that too. Such as, <laughs> but, such as, <laughs> what, what is the difference that a Tony nomination can mean for a play, BB? Well, I think um, certainly there's the business side of it that, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of, it, it gets uh, more attention that mm -hmm. way. Um, I'm not really sure. I try, I really, when I'm in a show, I just try to keep my mind on the show and, and do what we do and, and uh, you know, be with the audience for mm -hmm. that and try not to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, on but the it's, other hand, it's pretty sparkly and great. It's so. pretty sparkly <laughs> and great. And to those of us who love Broadway, this is really a very exciting time. Now it's time to hear the nominees for 2019. We begin with the best performance for a leading actor in a play. B.B., start us off, please. Okay. Patty Considine, The Ferryman. <laughs> Brian Cranston, Network. Yay. Jeff Daniels, To Kill a Mockingbird. Yay. Adam Driver, Burn This. <laughs> Jeremy Pope, Choir Boy. Ooh, big applause for that one. And the nominees for best performance by an actress in a leading role in a play are, <laughs> BB again. Annette Benning, Arthur Miller's All My Sons. <laughs> Laura Donnelly, The Ferryman. <laughs> Elaine May, The Waverly Gallery. <laughs> Janet McTeer, Bernhardt Hamlet. <laughs> Laurie Metcalf, Hillary and Clinton. Heidi Schreck, What the Constitution Means to Me. And the nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Musical are, Mr. Dixon, if you please. Brooks Ashmanskis, The Prom. Derek Baskin, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. Alex Brightman, Beetlejuice. Damon Dono. Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, <laughs> Santino Fontana, Tootsie. That's interesting, Tootsie just opened April 23rd. Go Scott Sanders for that. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role in a Musical are, Brandon. Stephanie yeah. J. Yeah. Block, yeah. The Cher Show. Yeah. Caitlin Kuninen, The Prom. Yeah. Beth Level, The Prom. Yeah. Eva Noblezada, Hades Town. <laughs> Kelly O'Hara, Kiss Me Kate. <laughs> Kelly's a veteran. And the nominees for Best Revival of a Play are Arthur Miller's All My Sons. <laughs> the Boys in the Band, written by Mark Crowley. Burn This. Torch Song, written by Harvey Firestein. <laughs> The Waverly Gallery, written by Kenneth Lonergan. 
The nominees for Best Revival of a Musical are... Phoebe. Kiss Me, Kate. Yeah. Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. And this is a really big category. The nominees for Best Play are Brandon Victor Dixon. Who is it? Choir Boy, written by Terrell Allen McCraney. The Ferryman, written by Jez Butterworth. Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, written by Taylor Mack. Ink, written by James Graham. What the Constitution Means to Me, written by Heidi Schreck. The nominees for Best Musical, Brandon. Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. Beetlejuice. Hades Town. The Prom. And Tootsie. All right. <clears throat> The nominees for Best Book of a Musical are Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations, Dominique Morisot. Beetlejuice, Scott Brown and Anthony King. Hades Town, Anais Mitchell. The Prom, Bob Martin and Chad Begelin. Tootsie, Robert Horn. The nominees for Best Original Score, Music and or Lyrics, written for the theater are <clears throat> Be More Chill, Music and Lyrics by Joe Iconis. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Music and Lyrics by Eddie Perfect. <laughs> Hades Town, Music and Lyrics by Anais Mitchell. <laughs> the Prom, Music by Matthew Sklar, Lyrics by Chad Begelin. To Kill a Mockingbird, music by Adam Gattel. And Tootsie, music and lyrics by David Yazbek. The nominees for best choreography are Camille A. Brown, choir boy. Warren Carlisle, Kiss Me Kate. Dennis Jones, Tootsie. David Newman, Hades Town. Sergio Trujillo, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. The nominees for Best Orchestrations are Michael Chorney and Todd Sikafus, Hades Town. Simon Hale, Tootsie. Larry Hockman, Kiss Me Kate. Daniel Kluger, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. <laughs> Harold Wheeler, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. The nominees for Best Scenic Design of a Play are Miriam Buther, To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> Bunny Christie, Inc. <laughs> Rob Howell, The Ferryman. Santa Laquasto, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. <clears throat> Jan van <laughs> Verswaveld, Network. Jan Verswaveld, Network. The nominees for Best Scenic Design of a Musical are Robert Brill and Peter Negrini, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. <laughs> Peter England, King Kong. Rachel Hawk, Hades Town. <laughs> Laura Jelinek, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. <laughs> David Corrin's Beetlejuice. The nominees for best costume design of a play are Rob Howell, The Ferryman. <laughs> Tony Leslie James, Bernhardt Hamilton. Clint Ramos, Tort Song. <laughs> Anne Roth, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. <laughs> Anne Roth, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> the nominees for Best Costume Design of a Musical are Michael Crass, Hadestown. 
William Ivy Long, Beetlejuice. <laughs> William Ivy Long, Tootsie. <laughs> Bob Mackey, The Share Show. <laughs> Paul Taswell, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. Just talking. <clears throat> The nominees for Best Sound Design of a Play are Adam Cork, Inc. Scott Lair, To Kill a Mockingbird. Fitz Patton, Choir Boy. Nick Powell, The Ferryman. Eric Slykem, Network. The nominees for Best Sound Design of a Musical are Peter Helensky, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Peter Helensky, King Kong. <laughs> Steve Canyon Kennedy, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. <laughs> Drew Levy, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. <laughs> Nevin Steinberg and Jessica, pa Jessica Paz, Hades Town. The nominees for Best Lighting Design of a Play are Neil Austin, Inc. <laughs> Jules Fisher and Peggy Eisenhower, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. <laughs> Peter Mumford, The Ferryman. <laughs> Jennifer Tipton, To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> Jan Verzweveld and Tal Yarden, Network. <laughs> the nominees for Best Lighting Design of a Musical are Kevin Adams, The Share Show. <laughs> Howell Binkley, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. <laughs> Bradley King, Hades Town. <laughs> Peter Mumford, King Kong. <laughs> Kenneth Posner and Peter Negrini, Beetlejuice. The nominees for Best Direction of a Play are <clears throat> Rupert Gould, Inc. <laughs> Sam Mendes, The Ferryman. <laughs> Bartlett Scher, To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> Ivan Van Hove, Network. <laughs> George C. Wolfe, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. <clears throat> The nominees for Best Direction of a Musical are Rachel Chavkin, Hades Town, <laughs> Scott Ellis, Tootsie, <laughs> Daniel Fish, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma, <laughs> Des McEnough, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations, <laughs> Casey Nicolau, The Prom. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Featured Role in a Play are Bertie Carvel, Inc. Robin De Jesus, The Boys in the Band. Gideon Glick, To Kill a Mockingbird. Brandon Uranowitz, Burn This. Benjamin Walker, Arthur Miller's All My Sons. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Featured Role in a Play are Finella Flanagan, The Ferryman, <laughs> Celia Keenan Bolger, To Kill a Mockingbird, <laughs> Christine Nielsen, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, <laughs> Julie White, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus, Ruth Wilson, King Lear. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Featured Role in a Musical are Andre De Shields, Hades Town, <laughs> Andy Grotolution, Tootsie, Patrick Page, Hades Town, <laughs> Jeremy Pope. Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. <clears throat> Ephraim Sykes, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Featured Role in a Musical are Lily Cooper, Tootsie. 
<clears throat> Amber Gray, Hades Town. Sarah Stiles, Tootsie. Ali Stroker, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. Mary Testa, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing, amazing people. Please log on to TonyAwards.com for a full list of this year's nominations and other Tony news. Be sure to also like the Tony Awards on Facebook, <clears throat> follow the Tonys on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Snapchat at the Tony Awards, and <laughs> it's a whole new language. <laughs> and tag your posts with hashtag Tony Awards. <laughs> Congratulations make, again to all this year's nominees. And make sure to tune in to the 73rd annual Tony Awards telecast on Sunday, June 9th at 8 o'clock p.m. only on CBS. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful ha day. Have a great day. Yeah. <laughs>